Hi everyone, it's Dr. Derek here from Adumed. In today's video, we'll take a look at hypothyroidism. Now this condition presents with so many different types and so many classes of symptoms. Now I feel the real key to understanding this whole topic is to appreciate and understand fully the hypothalamus pituitary thyroid axis. The thyroid gland releases thyroid hormones, so our T3 and T4, in response to TSH being released from the anterior pituitary gland. TSH is then stimulated by thyroid releasing hormone TRH from the hypothalamus and then our negative feedback loops control the release of thyroid hormone. So now we understand our hypothalamus pituitary thyroid axis in a bit more detail. Let's take a deeper look into things. The majority of cases of hypothyroidism are caused by primary hypothyroidism the problem here is that the thyroid gland is not producing enough thyroid hormone. Whereas in secondary hypothyroidism, the problem here is a function of the pituitary or hypothalamus causing a reduction in thyroid hormone. Common causes of hypothyroidism include iodine deficiency, which is the most common cause worldwide due to dietary deficiency. Also, we have other things to think about, such as autoimmune thyroiditis. Now, this is either associated with a goiter, in which is known as Hashimoto's thyroiditis, or without a goiter, in which is known as atrophic thyroiditis. So, with this particular condition, we can consider checking TPO antibodies if there's a suspicion of autoimmune hypothyroidism. We also have certain cases seen post surgery or following an ablation, but also drug induced hypothyroidism including patients treated with carbimazole for hypothyroidism, as well as side effects from drugs such as amiodarone, lithium, and valparate. Transient causes of hypothyroidism include the Quervin's thyroiditis, which is basically a painful thyroid gland swelling thought to be associated with a viral illness. We've also got postpartum thyroiditis, which is basically a painless autoimmune condition in which the thyroid glands go through a multiple phases of hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism, and euthyroidism. And also we've got congenital hypothyroidism, which is basically the absence of the thyroid gland or failure for complete development of it. So if a secondary cause of hypothyroidism is suspected, current guidance suggests that we refer urgently to the endocrine team. There are also other conditions in which we either discuss or refer to an endocrine team, and these include patients with a diagnosis of the Quervin's thyroiditis, also our patients who have an associated endocrine disorder, such as Addison's disease, would also need to be referred, and also you have to think about our patients who have a structural change to the thyroid gland or a thyroid goiter, Now, these patients will also need to be referred onwards to the endocrine team. So, we need to treat our patients with primary hypothyroidism with levothyroxine. Now, current guidance suggests that we instruct patients that the thyroxine is going to be taken first thing in the morning before they take any of the other medications. After introducing levothyroxine, we need to check the patient's thyroid function test after about 12 weeks of use and then we can adjust the dose accordingly. And once the patient is stable on the current dose, we need to keep an eye on the thyroid function test in an annual basis. We could also talk about subclinical hypothyroidism in which TSH is high, but T3 and T4 are within normal range. So if TSH is more than 10 and T4 is within the normal range, then we can consider treating with levothyroxine. Now, if TSH is high, but less than 10 and T4 is normal, so this is taken on two occasions, at least three months apart, as well as the patient being less than 65 years old and having symptoms of hypothyroidism, in this case, we offer a trial of treatment for about six months. So that brings us to the end of today's video in which we've taken a look at how we assess and how we manage our patients with hypothyroidism. As always, if you found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, make sure you check out our other videos. I've attached a playlist somewhere on this screen. I think you find them really helpful as you get through your revision. Until the next time, I'll see you soon.